now. Brilliant. That's handy to know. Thank you. Yes, that's why. Okay. Yes, sir. Mohammed, are you there? Please? Hello, doctor. Yes. Hello. Please, at the end of the question, remind me to stop the video, yes? Okay, thank you. Have you thank started? You. Yes, I will start. Okay. Okay, I prefer to go through some other question rather than the tutorial sheet question because tutorial sheet questions, I will upload the video solution for it and also the written solution for it by Sunday midnight. Then you have everything. And if, if you face any problem, I'm available in the dropping station or we can discuss it during next tutorial session or put on discussion board. Then I prefer to use this time for some questions which are not listed in the tutorial sheet. First, before we go through the examples of the kinetics of the particle, I try to answer two questions which are from calculus, not related directly to the mechanics. But this is the frequently asked question. Maybe you find it simple what students ask this one. The difference between these two. And these are calculus questions. And if you attend the drop-in session, usually we can discuss this calculus question as well, which are not directly related to our subject. They told me why this is not 2x. Yes, why not 2x? Why you say it's equal to 2x x dot? And the chat box is open as well here. If you have any questions, you can put in chat box. Okay, if you remember from the calculus, when you have a function f of x, the derivative of fx with respect to some other variable, independent variable a, we use the chain rule. We said, okay, it's f df. And I know in calculus, it's more precise to use partial derivative symbol but here is, we, we don't care because our course is not calculus course. Df over dx and dx over da. This is the general rule, which we call the chain rule we know from the calculus. Now we look at case one. In case one, my fx is x squared, this is my fx, the function, fx is x squared, and my differential variable is a, here is x. My a is x. No, I just replace in this formula, if we call it a star, in the chain rule relationship, fx and a. It would be dx2 over da, which is here in this case, x. Now here I replace x is dx2 with respect to x and dx. My a here is x. This term is one and this term is two X. Therefore, DX two over DX is equal to two X. This is case one. When your function variable and the differentiate, differential variable or derivative variable are the same, both are both of them are x. But in case two, my function is again the same, is x squared. But my differential variable is t here. My a is t. 
Again, if you replace in this chain rule, which we call the star, I replace F, it would be D, the left-hand side would be the X squared. The A, A here for me is T. Now I replace the right-hand side thing. F again is X squared. X is X. The X, my A here is T. Similarly, the first term is 2x, but the second one is not 1 anymore, is x dot. It's a time derivative of the position. Therefore, my dx2 over dt is 2x x dot. Then it depends. If you take the derivative of x2 with respect to x, the result is x. But if you take with respect to time, hopefully now it's clear. Any question? You can call implicit differentiation as well, what we call chain rule, yes. Is it clear? Can we move to the next question? Thank you. Now we go to next question. This is from practical quiz five, question one. Again, this is a calculus question. They say, how can we take the time derivative of the radial displacements or radial position and the second time derivative. Again, this is nothing more than the chain rule. We go through it together. And please stop me if you think any point is not clear. This is given. dr over dt. Again, I told you in calculus it's more precise to put partial derivative symbol, but this is not the calculus course. dr over dt equals to dr over d theta, d theta over dt. This is my r. Then dr over d theta, I just replace r by half. d theta. And this is, we can use different notation, which is called theta dot. And this one, the first term is constant. It would be half sine theta. The derivative of this one is of sine theta. Do you agree? And we have theta dot. Is there any question? Is it clear? Can you confirm please in the chat box? Yeah, it's clear. Okay, thank you very much. Then my R dots, because I can use different notation for this R dot. Just for simplicity, it would be equal to half sine theta, theta dot. This is the first one. Now again, I want to take the time derivative of, let me to clear this thing. Uh, 
Okay, my r dot is equal to half sine theta to theta. Again, I want to take the time derivative dr dot over dt, which is r double dot. Again, I can write dr dot with respect to theta, d theta with respect to t. Now I replace for r dots this one would be d half sine theta, theta dot. over d theta, and this is nothing more than theta dot. Now I want to see what's this derivative. The, okay, the constant, I can take it out. This half is constant, one over two. Then I have d sine theta, theta dot. The multiplication of two functions. And we know from the calculus, the derivative of f g, multiplication of two function with respect to some variable, well, for example, theta is equal to df. The derivative of the first one multiplied by second one plus Derivative of second one multiplied by the first. This is we know from the cap. I just apply this one. Here. One over two. The derivative of first one, it's d sine theta with respect to theta multiplied by theta dot plus sine theta multiplied by d theta dot this is nothing more than cosine theta the question is this one d theta dot over it for this one i can use change in variable d theta dot over dt, dt over d theta. This is theta double dot. This is one over theta dot. Yes. You may ask, this is a question I don't answer it now. I leave it to you to think about it. You may say, okay, why I don't do like this? Because I can write d, d theta, d theta over d time, yes. And I switch this too. I can write d over d theta, d theta over d theta. This is one and the derivative of a constant value, which is one is zero. Why we cannot say like this? Think about it, then maybe next tutorial or drop in session, I can provide the reason. Anyway, this is calculus, but you may face this one. That's why I put this. Okay, anyway. Then this d theta over this is theta double dot multi divided by theta dot. Okay. And this whole thing multiplied by theta dot, I put theta dot. And I put theta dot here. The result would be half this one 
cosine theta, theta dot and theta dot, theta dot to the power of two, sine theta, this theta dot and this theta dot cancel each other. Then sine theta, theta double dot. And I have half here as well. Because this will multiply by second term. And that's why we have this. Any question? Is there any question? No, thank you. Then I stop this video as well. Thank question you. Question two.